Welcome to this tutorial about the various prime mover functions found in an 8960-B0. At the end of this video, you will be able to work with each type of prime mover mode this module is capable of. Let's get started. Some of you may be familiar with the 8960-10, which was the predecessor of the 8960-B0. For the motor in an 8960-10 to work, a dedicated power supply was needed to be connected to the module, along with a 24 volt supply. This is not the case for the 8960-B0. All that's needed is to connect this power input to the single phase power. Once that is done, Turn this switch to the on position. Once the lab vault logo has disappeared from the display here, the 8960 is ready to be used. Under operating mode here, you can see a switch that offers two choices, power supply or dynamometer. Place the switch in the dynamometer position to access every function related to the motor of the 8960. Now let's take a look at the display. As you can see, basic information such as speed, torque, power, and status will be displayed here in real time. Status indicates whether or not the function is started, whether it is controlled by the computer or by the front panel, and what the function's name is. Use the function button to cycle through every function available, and the start stop button to use the function selected. Finally, use the knob here to change the command, which in this case could be speed or torque, depending on the function used. Now, let's cycle through every prime mover function to see what they do. Please note that the two-quadrant constant torque break will not be discussed here, as a complete video is dedicated to that feature alone. Push the function button once to get to the next function. CW prime mover break. Clockwise prime mover break. This function can be used to operate a motor or a generator in a clockwise direction at an adjustable speed influenced by the load applied. The function also indicates the speed, torque, and mechanical power measured at the shaft of the machine under test. CCW prime mover brake counterclockwise prime mover brake. This function is the same as the previous one, except that the prime mover rotates in a counterclockwise direction. CWCS prime mover brake. Clockwise constant speed prime mover brake. This function can be used to operate a machine in a clockwise direction at a fixed speed. A closed loop control maintains the speed constant under varying load. CCW CS prime mover brake. Counterclockwise constant speed prime mover brake. This function is the same as the previous one, except for the direction of rotation. POS CT prime mover brake. Positive constant torque prime mover brake. This function can be used to operate a machine at a constant torque in a clockwise direction. A closed loop control maintains a constant torque regardless of the speed. Be aware that a constant torque system will speed up the motor from zero to maximum speed if the load creates an opposing torque smaller than the value set by the user. NEGCT prime mover brake. Negative constant torque prime mover brake. Again, same function as previous except for the direction of rotation. And we're done. Please note that every value displayed on this screen always refers to the value at the shaft of the machine under test, which means any friction caused by the belt or bearings is taken into account by the 8960 for precise results. Please refer to the video about the compensation function and analog output for more information about bearings and belt friction. That's it for this tutorial. 